And I've been thinking about this since I saw The Man of Steel. Um, at the beginning of the movie, there's a part that really touched me, where we have Lara here on the left, and uh, Jor-El is on the right, the parents of the man who becomes Superman, Kal-El, who's the baby there. The thing that really touches me is that before their, their planet is blown up, before it's destroyed, they put their child in a pod to send to Earth, to send away. And before they leave, before he leaves, or they send him away, they both touch him. They lay their hands upon him. And they, uh, I, I take this as a moment of blessing, a parental blessing of children. And it really touched me, and it got me to thinking about the idea of the narrative laying on of hands, of the way that we touch others with our language, the way that we touch and we heal them. And that led me to thinking about the life of Christ. Two experiences really touched me deeply. Um, as I was thinking about this, they came to mind. Uh, right after Christ has fed the 5,000 and the 4,000, he comes to a place called Bethsaida, and the people bring a blind man to him. And they asked him, in verse 22 of Mark chapter 8, they said, And besought him, or asked Christ, to touch him, to touch the blind man. So Christ, here's what he does. He takes the blind man by the hand, touches him, leads him out of town. And then he does this. He spits on the man's eyes. So what he does, he touches him with his hands first, and then he touches him with a product or a process of his mouth, of his tongue. And then he, uh, the man doesn't quite isn't quite able to see everything but so Christ touches him again with his hands upon his eyes and the man can see clearly now the thing that really touches me about this is it it shows the way that Christ touched the man physically but also with the product of his mouth um, and that that leads me to believe that our language that a product of our mouths that it can touch other people that it can heal them just like Christ did here now, if we hop over a little later into Christ's ministry, uh, this is found in Mark chapter 9. Right after the Mount of Transfiguration, Christ has taken Peter, James, and John up, and they've seen Moses, Elias, and they've received this great revelation. And they come back down, and there's just a throng of people. In the midst of this, a man had come to the disciples asking for their help with the son who had been demonized. He was possessed of an evil spirit. But they couldn't cast, the disciples couldn't cast the spirit out. So the man comes to Christ and asks for his help. Christ says, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And then the father looks at him and says, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. So Christ sees this and he rebukes the spirit, speaks to him with this, uh, uses his language, his words. He says, Saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried, and rent him sore, and came out of him, and he was as one dead. So everybody thinks the young man is dead. This child is, the, the spirit has gone from him, and everybody thinks that the child is dead. And then in verse 27, it says, But Christ took him by the hand, and lifted him up, and he arose. So that leads me again to thinking about Christ using a product of his tongue, a process of his tongue, to cast the spirit out. He uses his language, the power of his words, to cast the spirit out of this young man's life. And then he touches him with his hand, raises him up, and the, the young man is, is just fine. So this, I've, I've, I've long thought that language is a way that we can use our language to heal other people. That responsible language use is a way that we can lift and strengthen others. And um, and so I, uh, as as you can, as we continue with this course, and as you continue to develop your uh, your abilities as responsible language users in writing and in speech, I encourage you to think about this: that the language we use can really heal other people; that it can touch them and heal them in very deep ways if we allow uh, the spirit to to work upon us, and if we allow ourselves to be compassionate towards other people.